You're listening to KSQD Santa Cruz 90.7, and I am here with photographer extraordinaire Taylor Boone. How are you doing, Taylor? I'm doing great. Thank you for having me. Oh, thank you. And also, I'm I apologize for making you come in and like changing like a shoot that you had. <laughs> no worries. Okay. I'm part of the territory. Yeah. No, but well, I'm super glad you're on. I, when uh, you're like my first out of the the group of 10 photographers who are going to be at an upcoming event, I was like, I have to have Taylor on the show, um, just because I know you're, besides such a well-spoken person, I think you have an interesting story. Um, what event is coming up that you're going to, you're going to be performing at? <laughs> <laughs> it's the event Santa Cruz Photobomb. Exactly. So the third annual event Santa Cruz Photobomb happening at the Paradox, Hotel Paradox, on October 23rd, so a week from today. Um, Wednesday and we have 10 photographers talking about kind of like it's, it, why they do what they do so it's not going to be technically you know I use this f-stop or this aperture to get the shot or whatever but it's more like the motivation and that's why I thought of you when I thought of, of um, actually having a, a speaker and I'm just gonna ask you right out like why why are you a photographer because I say this all the time because I always have these really smart, intelligent people on our show. You can do anything you want, uh, but why was it photography? You know, I think there's so much in a photo. There's a story, and you yeah. pick it up, and you instantly are taken right back to that moment if you're in it. If it's someone you love, your 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 emotion for that person comes through, and photos really have a way of connecting us yeah. deeper than what we actually realize. And, I was 13, I found a photo of my mom taking uh, right after World War II in San Francisco. She was 16. Oh, cool. And I stole the photo. <laughs> and, uh, Do you still have it? I still have it. It hangs on my wall. Oh, it reminds goodness. me every single day why I take a photo. And it was a guy on the street corner taking photos of people as they walked by. Okay. And she saw the photo the next day and, and purchased it. And who would ever think something taken so long ago would inspire me years yeah. later to pick up a camera. And for 25 years now, I've been blessed to do this. It's crazy how that, like, you know, it th like moments in time affects so many other things. Mm -hmm. So, you know, your mom's, you know, that picture to you to like the pictures that you take of other people and their experiences that will go down the line. So, yeah. um, so do you think about that then when you're when you're taking a picture? Are you thinking about a story almost? At all? I or, am. Yeah. I think we all have a story, and I'm always searching to find what's that what's that thing behind yeah. you that. You don't either want to expose mm -hmm. or you don't feel it is relevant. No one will understand. So I'm always trying to extract that. And every time I pick up my camera, I intentionally want to take the best photo just in case it's their last. Yeah. You know, I've had that happen a couple times in my life where it was my client's last photo. And, okay. and I think that kind of marked my heart that I've got something here far beyond just a portrait or a headshot. Yeah. I'm creating something that's going to tell their story when they're gone. Wow. Do you. I'm just trying to think when you like you're 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 in a studio, you're out and about, and you're taking that picture. How do you like prepare them to actually like you know to like Are you asking them questions? Do you like I mean, how do you like make them comfortable? Because that's not easy for a lot of people. They're not usually in like in front of a lens. They're not, and I yeah. I do. I feel like I'll have my camera. I'm not feeling that connection, and I really do have a connection with all my clients. And I'll set the camera down and just start talking, talking you know, them. chatting about what they did last night, their fam you know, favorite aunt, their family vacation, something to kind of get their mind off of what I'm there to do. And then we'll just start talking about, you know, what's, what's one moment in their life that is their go-to moment. Oh. They realize it was a pivotal moment in their life where they're like, you know, it made me do this, or I jumped at this, to kind of bring that emotion up. And then I'll pick up my camera and kind of go at it. And if that uh, barrier comes back up, because we all have a barrier, especially mm -hmm. when there's a, a camera. Yeah. If that comes back up, I just, Start talking to them. I want them to forget the cameras there. I don't want that camera between yeah. the two of us. Oh man, I, I, that is that really struck me there. Your go-to moment, like if you ask somebody that question, they have to think, and there's something that like probably stands out that comes out, and like whatever that was, that you know, just a gut reaction that came out was probably very important to them. It is, yeah. and I think so many of us have more than one. Yeah, we have several. You know, and it, as they start divulging that information and sharing that, you can kind of weave your way in how you have to take this photo. And 
I feel like it's my dad's engineering mind that's in me. I'm a MacGyver. I can be put in a tough situation where the lighting's not right, the, the background's not right. Let's go to the bathroom. And they'll look at me and go, what? <laughs> I'm like, the lighting in the bathroom's better. Let's go. So it's kind of figuring out what needs to take place around them to kind of embody that that story and sometimes it's just ripping a sheet off of a bed and throwing it up behind him because that's the color we need it's it's yeah. the most random things I love place. that stuff yeah I mean yeah. as a high school I remember I, mean, I was a I was the the geeky photo guy in high school and I like I lived I mean, this a long time ago so I was in the dark room for like five hours a day I took I actually I was just talking to my wife about that um, this morning it's like I had one in high school because I did all my credits kind of early so my senior year I did I had one government class and five photography classes oh, yeah wow. and that's all I did and I, I didn't do yearbook stuff or any of that I didn't find that interesting as much for me it was more like the fine art you know working with the developer and like doing a bunch of like just kind of you know more studio stuff I guess and um I'm not sure why I'm on the tangent. I, I have but so many things in my head I, from what you said. I have to jump in there because there's something, because you, I'm familiar with the dark room too. Yeah. But you know that moment when you throw the, the paper in there and you just start swishing back and forth yeah. and all something, Developer there it the is. Fixer. Yeah. And there it comes it up. Yeah. And I think there's that magic moment that even now with digital, I still see that same thing where I press oh, down and I'm like, all of a sudden you see it. It's, I think it's not really seen with our eyes. It's yeah. kind of seen with our heart that all of a sudden it's, there it is. We got the shot. The yeah. Shot. Oh, that's really cool. And then you get to play around with it too. It's like you have the, let's say for, you know, going back to the dark room, it's like, it is that creative kind of idea where it's like, okay, this is, it came out this way, but you know what? I want this to be a little different. So I'm going to play around with it. I'm going to change the contrast or whatever and just kind of play around with it. Um, it's kind of like painting with light, like, which is photography. It is. Yeah. Man, you know what? I, I I feel like I needed an hour with you. I was just it's like my own like kind of like therapy. I was just thinking about like my like my moment. You mentioned that moment there. And I was thinking, you know, and it's kind of like a funny moment, but it's just I was at a Jack Johnson concert in um, Texas when we lived there. My son was one and a half, and he had his shirt off because it was super hot, and he was on my shoulders. And the opening band was this guy Matt Costa, and my son started like throwing his hands up in the air because everybody else was doing it, and it ended up like. 5,000 people on the floor started like chanting around with my son and looking at him. Yeah. And he was on my shoulder and he thought it was amazing. He was doing that. Everybody's taking pictures of him. And for the whole song, even like the, the musician did that. And it was like this big dancing moment of 5,000 people wrapped around my son. Yeah. Wow. And like, I always think like, like that's like my, my happy spot right there of thinking that I run over to my wife. Did you see that? It's like, no, I didn't know what was going on there. Like, it was Bennett in front of everybody was dancing around him and like, yeah, I don't know. Sorry, I'm just going off on a tangent here. No, I think that's where yeah. we need to connect. Though. Those are our connection pieces. And I think that's, yeah. that's really what needs to come through also in photos is how are we all connected? Yeah. So we have a little bit of time, but like if I, if I asked you, and this is like kind of a big question, but like what makes you happy about taking someone's picture? What would you say? Hmm. There, I mean, there, there's a reason why you get up every morning and you take these pictures there's only something yeah. really you enjoy about this yeah some days i get up at 4 a.m to, <laughs> to do this because which, which is still shoot. work right yeah yeah um you know what it's it's honestly someone seeing that they matter uh-huh i love uh -huh. when the, my clients look at a photo and they're actually proud of who they are you know and first they'll be like oh you're a great photographer or you have a great camera and yeah. i'm just documenting what's there and for them to see it i guess through my eyes yeah is kind of the moment I live for. Is I already see beauty in everybody. I'm always looking at how I want to photograph someone. Even when I was sitting here waiting, I was figuring out how to photograph the two of you. <laughs> like it's always running it's in your head. It's running yeah. in my head. Yeah. And I think that's the moment of when someone's looking at their own photo and they see their power and their strength. They see they matter. So yeah, that's, I think that's, that's what like that's what makes a good photographer, especially for somebody for the work that you do, is they can feel at ease and pr like trust you that you're going to do the best job for them. You know, it's not like this is not, you're not putting your motives or your whatever slant, you're trying to get them in the best light so right. they can feel happy and, and content and sh they want to show that picture off to the world. That is yeah. my, my yeah. number one thing is I just want them to be proud of who they are. Okay. Yeah. Which I've heard, cause I, you know, I know you do like these, like, um, these what's that you have like every year or so you just one thing where you do like headshots for people we do the annual headshots yeah that's this week oh it is okay wait where is that so we know it's going to be this friday at the satellite okay cool what time 
It's from 10 to 4. We only have two appointments left, though. Okay, two so how do they like get on? Do they go to your website? They go to my website and they can reach out and snag those last two. Okay, two so spots. What, what's your website? It's taylorboone.com. How do you spell Boone just so everybody knows? B O O N E. Okay, perfect. Taylorboone.com. And you'll also be at Photobomb on October 23rd. Go to eventsantacruz.com. Total like self promotion, I know. <laughs> Thank you so much, Taylor, for being on the show. Oh, you're welcome. Thank you for having me. Okay, I think that's it. Louie, did we finish the show? Yep, okay, we, we finished. Now let's play. We're going to play the natural.